Hello guys, so this is the Mi A1 and in this video I will show you how to unlock bootloader plus a custom ROM plus custom recovery and test several apps on this one okay so all the file and step I will provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box and if you have any questions feel free to ask on the comment section okay so stay tuned and check it out yeah, hello guys assalamualaikum with again with Ombop this time I have a uh, Xiaomi Mi A1 with the code name is Tissot and today I will show you how to read this pawn okay first thing to do like usual let's go to the settings about pawn and let's check the the setting system you can see right here it's using the android 9 and this is the last firmware official firmware for this one so if you're using stock rom you're stuck on android 9 okay the build number is 10.0.24 okay this is the latest latest version and you should use this base stock rom to install the custom recovery at uh, the plastic custom rom android 11 12 and 13 okay and next okay you need to enable the developer option by hit the build number five times go back <coughs> developer option and enable the om unlock you can see right here i already turned on the om unlock and the pawn has been unlocked but I will show you to unlock the bootloader anyway. Okay. Okay, done. Make sure you remove all the emails. And the next steps uh, we need to turn off the pawn and go to the fast boot mode. Okay. As usual, fast boot mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down and the power button at the same time. And when you see a. Uh, uh, black screen with the picture on it okay like this it means that we are in the face but but okay next step you need to unlock the bootloader okay so if you haven't unlocked is it you should unlock the bootloader from the cmd okay just tap fast boot space om is unlock and it will set the device is already unlocked of course because i already unlocked this device okay if you haven't it will start the process and will still you will <coughs> you will still in the fast boot mode okay and next we need to boot into the custom recovery okay so type fast boot space boot and just click and drag the file we are using the Zignas TWRP Okay, so credit to Zignas. So for your information, if you are not familiar with, this is using dynamic partition, so it means we cannot flash the recovery directly. So we just need to boot it and then flash the zip installer inside the custom recovery. Okay, now let's switch the screen. And by the way, it will take about one two minutes until it boots into the custom recovery and now we are in the custom recovery so first thing you need uh, to do is go to the advanced and find on the tshot manager right here you can see it is a different menu from the official one okay the the official therapy doesn't have this one okay so we're using this one Okay, I will show you. First, if you wipe it, we just have a Delphix system and data partition. We don't have a Pandora partition. And after we enable the treble, <coughs> we can get the Pandora partition. Okay. And now, let's go to the advanced and start manager right here and swipe to execute okay and you will see enable treble button right here 
and the FPS. Okay. <clears throat> it will start the treble repartition among the MMC and creating a vendor. Okay. Should wait until it finishes. And okay, you can see right here. Shrinking user data, creating vendor A, vendor B, formatting user data, uh, formatting vendor B, and other stuff. Okay, just wait for the process to complete it. Okay, this is for your information. If you're using Android 13, you cannot uh, use the official one until for this time I'm making this video. Okay. And you can see there is mess you are now ready to install any ROM uh, on treble or treble. Okay. Let's go to the install. <coughs> and micro SD, I put it the file into the micro SD. Select me A1 and select the Zignas installer. Okay. Swipe it. It will run uh, image patcher on the boot partition and now the process is completed okay now uh let's the, hit the home button select reboot and select recovery it will say it now as installed just, just ignore it and swipe it it will automatically restart to the custom recovery again and now we are in the recovery again and it show us enter password okay just cancel it okay swipe it go to the wipe menu advanced wipe and now you can see right here we have additional partition delphix system data and vendor okay before we doesn't have vendor partition now we have it okay just select all the partition and swipe it Okay, and if you fail, you should format the data first. Okay, so let's go to the wipe, format data, tap yes. Okay, and when it, when it finishes, go back, advanced wipe, Dell fix system data vendor, and swipe it. Okay, now it succeed. Next step, <laughs> it's always a good idea to back up the email and partition. So go to the backup menu, option tab, enable compressions for smaller size. And let's select the <coughs> Persis modem and EFS. Okay, select storage. Put it into the micro SD. Give it a name. Okay. So if there's something wrong, you can always restore the email and baseband. Okay. <clears throat> okay quite large 118 megabyte go back now let's go to the install menu find where you put the file I put it into micro SD and I put it into the me a1 folder and this is the pixel experience under it routine okay so I have put it into the micro SD Okay, and swipe it and you should wait <clears throat> the size is about 1.2 gigabyte so it will take some time and now it's finished okay now let's just hit the reboot button and select system okay, and you will see no OS installed just swipe to reboot just ignore that message and we can see right here now we have the pixel experience boot logo it means that it seems that we have successfully installed so let's wait until it boots into the home screen and here we go now we are in the home screen it's nice so i have installed several apps <clears throat> just to test this device okay and here we go now we are in the home screen okay let's go the settings right here but bond me a1 
Android 13. Okay, it's using the Android security patch May 5, 2023. <clears throat> okay, now let's open dev check. Jimmy Mio 1, Android 13. Let's check the RAM. Yeah, it's using two, uh, sorry, two, about three, three gigabyte, get okay, 2.8 from four gigabyte. And it takes about <clears throat> 11 gigabyte from 32. Okay, this, the internal is using 32 gigabyte. Okay, quite nice. <clears throat> and the clock range, you can see right here. Uh, where is it? clock range is between 600 and 2 gigahertz okay nice <clears throat> and now let's take take task get root beer and other stuff just to make sure this ROM is quite safe for daily driver okay root beer not rooted okay nice uh okay it's usually to test the is there any root access and other stuff safety net Okay, let's check the safety net. It's usually important for I'm banking, Google Pay, and all the stuff. Okay, happy police detector. It will scan the images, outposts, and the uh, module. Okay, nice. So it's safe. There is no problem with the security on the phone. Okay, the GPS also working. <clears throat> I don't have any problem with the GPS. Okay. And I will not make a review about this ROM <clears throat> because it seems that quite stable. Okay, now let's test the GPU test, CPU throttle. I mean, yeah, it's usually we uh, use these apps to make uh, CPU stress, so we will know if the Custom ROM have has the throttle or not? Okay, very nice, quite stable. The performance is about 90 Gbps, quite nice for uh, all phone. Okay, I see. I think that's all, guys. Okay, so we already I already show you how to unlock the bootloader, plus the custom recovery and plus the custom ROM and other tips and also we have tests for the safety of the ROM <clears throat> and all the basic function okay the email also safe and the Wi-Fi also working the SIM card also working and I think it's quite good enough for the driver you should consider consider this ROM for the driver if you want to use latest Android version okay thank you guys have a nice day see you in the on the next video. Wassalamualaikum.